Hello everybody, welcome to Just Upright. My name is Dr. Jean Ruder. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm your foreign educated physical therapist guide to US application. So I hope you guys are doing great. So what we're going to talk about today is the shortage of physical therapists here in the United States. Let's find out if it is true, if there's really a shortage or saturation of the physical therapists here in the United States. And if it is true that there is a shortage, why, how come? All of this coming up next. guys so there is really a shortage of physical therapists in the United States here alone in Missouri where we live you know the state where we live in the city where we live um, every day every single day I receive texts uh, asking me to help them because I'm a pure uh, PRN uh, on-call physical therapist. I don't work uh, full-time. I don't work part-time. I make my own schedule. Uh, I have many, uh, con I'm connected with many rehab directors and I work for four companies right now, uh, different buildings, different facilities, okay? So um, there are days that uh, really some of the rehab director, regional manager, will offer um, a drive time, okay? Just for you to help in different, uh, in a specific building, okay? Or they will offer a bonus if you want to drive to a, you know, a distant uh, facility or building. Uh, there are facilities right now where I work that they don't have a full-time physical therapist. They only rely on uh, PRN or as needed, on-call physical therapist, okay? As, Two buildings that I work uh, right now, their physical therapists res resigned, okay, and they are in need, in a horrible need of physical therapists. So there are tons of jobs here in the United States waiting for you if you are still in your country, if you're a, a foreign educated physical therapist, you are needed here, okay? So uh, take it from me. Uh, I get a lot of texts. Sometimes three, four, five people will text me to help them that day because they have uh, uh, admissions or uh, the physical therapist call in or the physical therapist resign. So there are so many reasons uh, why there are so many jobs here in the U.S. Uh, even for us needed or on-call physical therapists, we, I can have a full-time job being an on-call physical therapist if I want to, but I only work half a day uh, because I want to spend more time with my family, uh, with my kids, and with my husband, and also to work with my uh, small business, okay? So that's the perk of being an on-call or as needed physical therapist here in the U.S. So it is really in demand right now, but let's look why, what happened and what is the uh, trajectory of this profession in the future. Right, so shortage of physical therapists in the U.S. So uh, my reference is one of them is the mwtherapy.com, uh, their website. So uh, they have a good um, information here why there is a shortage of physical therapists in the United States. So one thing that they cite, cited uh, on that uh, article is because of the COVID, the pandemic, okay? So the overwhelming stress and fear of all healthcare providers, including the physical therapists, um, long hours and continuous regulatory changes created burnout, burnout, and uh, a lot of physical therapists maybe quit or they don't look for a full-time job position anymore, okay? So, Beyond the COVID, what they're saying here is it initially began the need, uh, the rise for the need for physical therapists began, okay? The demand outweighs the professional supply uh, due to the Affordable Care Act, okay? So many people got 
insurance. You know? More people got insured. More people needed therapy. And the rise in Medicare patients. So the baby boomers, okay? More older population. So more need for physical therapists. So why is the demand for physical therapists is increasing, okay? So um, while there may have been 239,200 physical therapists profession already practicing in the U.S. in 2020, okay, there is actually a projected growth of 21%, okay, uh, between uh, now 2020 to 2030, okay? So uh, it is said that the um, need, to fill the need by 2030, there should be 49,000 physical therapists. 49,000 physical therapists, you can be one of them. Come over here, okay? With the average occupational growth of just 8%, so it's not keeping up with the 21%, just 8%, okay? Um, these are the things that they cited that are uh, causing the demand, okay? Patient got interest to increase their personal health and wellness, and in need of high quality physical therapy services. Patients are more eager to live their life uh, healthiest, the healthiest possible, and treating chronic diseases and disabilities uh, to enhancing overall personal well being. Okay, so there's also a high interest in sports medicine and non medicated physical therapy or uh, physical treatment methods have fueled the search of physical therapist demand okay lastly another factor that's pushing for the need for more physical therapists the age demographics across the u.s have created a massive impact on physical therapy demand between 2010 and 2020 the number of u.s residents over the age of 55 grew by 27 percent and those over the age of 65 have already doubled okay so these are the factors pushing for more physical therapists uh, or pu pushing or needing for more physical therapy services okay so interestingly i found this article okay uh, and uh, if, if you can see this article was written okay this research study, actually, this is a research study by 2010, November 2, 2010, okay? Physical therapy workforce in the United States forecasting nationwide shortages. And it actually is happening, okay? It is actually happening right now. So they say here that... Um, on the basis of current trends, demand for physical therapy services will outpace the supply of PTs within the United States. Shortages are expected to increase for all states through 2030. Okay? So these are my references for this information that I gave you. All right, guys. So there's like an urgency for you to come here because you are really needed here. You have to process your application. Uh, as fast as you can okay so if you are there sitting and thinking oh, should i go to the u.s should i process my pt application you should because you are needed here okay if you want help with processing your u.s application all the links are down below i have master classes online that will walk you through the process so that you will not commit mistakes and waste your time waste your money and end up with frustration and a lot of confusion because you're trying to figure things out on your own it is very hard it's bloody and it's brutal to apply to the u.s as physical therapist if you don't know what you're doing if you know what you're doing it is simple it's not easy but it is simple there is a method and there is a process and that process is within my master class okay so think about it you can diy do it yourself your process of application to go here to the u.s watch you my youtube i have free youtube videos but it's like pieces of the puzzles that you're trying to put together and when you're doing a puzzle, you need the picture of what you're trying to accomplish. Okay, what are you trying to accomplish with this 
puzzle pieces. What is the picture you're trying to form? But if you're just DIYing this, you don't have the picture, okay? Because you only have the pieces. And it takes a lot of time to get all these pieces together, trial and error, and, and a lot of people committing a lot of mistakes, ending up with life-changing, life-altering mistakes that some of them ended up going back to the Philippines and not knowing when to come back here because they, they, they committed some mistakes or they did not do uh, the right way or the way that it should be done. And it can cost you a lot, not just the money, but your mental health, the, the welfare of your family, okay? So I will guide you through the master class how to fit the puzzles together and think about it the master class is there it's a premium service okay because i fast forward your learning i help you to know what to do what not to do to save you tons of money from committing mistakes but the amount of money that you're going to invest in the master class think about it it's just like maybe two to three hours when you get here two to three hours compared to the thousands of dollars that you're going to earn when you get here okay so that the master class i always say it's not for everybody i'm not forcing you to get it but it is for someone who is determined enough to do what is right who is done playing around and wants to get it done the fastest way possible okay so all my links are down below so please share this video to anyone you know who is doubting if they are needed here to the u.s please also like and subscribe and it will help me reach more for an educated physical therapist around the world thank you so much guys for watching until the next video stay blessed